So, you're looking for a live service game, eh? Well, uh, let me let me start by asking you some questions. Are you looking for a satisfying time sink? Are you looking for a game with a mechanically polished core loop that is equal parts try hard sweat fest as it is AFK and put a podcast on the second monitor? Are you looking for a game to grind the shit out of? A game with deep, addictive progression systems that reveal themselves linearly but expand laterally into areas you never thought existed? Are you looking for a game that's obsessed with giving you loot but one that's also smart in allocating what you use that loot for? Are you looking for a game that also changes up that core loop and decides that it's okay for you to go fishing in an open world before engaging in ship-to-ship combat that would make Starfield jealous, and in that same video game, having missions dedicated to flying around in an effortlessly easy-to-use arc wing with its own dedicated weapons and mods? Fuck it. Are you also looking for that game to have a fleshed out roguelike mode that's content is important and influential on your account? Are you looking for a game with numerous valuable endgame pieces of content spaced out over the game's expansive star chart? Do you want a game that gives you a reason to come back to it every day and week for events and special missions? Are you looking for a game with an unfathomable amount of weapons? Are you looking for a game with an unfathomable amount of progression systems? Are you looking for a game with exceptional build craft that combines a multitude of systems that interlink and intertwine to give you power and efficiency? Are you looking for a game that runs well? Are you looking for a game with an incredibly kind and generous community? Are you looking for a game with a developer that has communication skills that would make Valve cry? Are you looking for a game with thousands and thousands of hours of content? But then, are you also looking for that game to respect your time over those thousands of hours of content? In fact, are you looking for that same game to not get any of that content behind a paywall? As in, all of the game's content is available to you for free. That's Warframe. Very harsh transition to my face, I apologize for that. And originally this wasn't the plan for this video. I was going to list out all of the progression and systems and content that you can go through in Warframe, but that didn't feel right. It's not necessarily what I wanted to do. The big motivator for making this video in the first place was the mass amounts of negative live service news. All of that negative news mixed in with all the layoff news that we got at the same time. Like you had all the live service kind of negative news cycle, right? You had um, Skull and Bones, Suicide Squad, the live service Last of Us game cancelled. Then you had Warner, Bro Warner Brothers sorry, saying that they were going to triple down on live service games. It's not news that we want to hear. It's entirely negative and no one wants to hear it. And it's all surrounding the live service genre, the live service market. Then you mix all of that in with the layoffs that were happening at about the same time a few months ago, even continuing now into 2024. And it's just negative. It's just entirely negative. One of the biggest takeaways I had from that news cycle was it feels like humanity has been entirely taken out of the live service genre. It feels like the live service genre is now you know, it's these, these mega corporations just draining you for, for all your cash. It's these mega corporations treating you as robots, as minions. They don't really give a fuck about you, right? They just, that you're just kind of there to make them profit. And so when I started playing Warframe, holy shit, I felt like I'd found a diamond in the rough. I felt like I'd just discovered fire for the first time. Not only was this a game that respected my time and respected, um, you know, uh, kind of the way I wanted to play a live service game, but it had a shitload of content and it, it uh, as far as I'm aware, Digital Extremes, the company behind Warframe, hasn't gone through any layoffs. Um, they've been respectful to the players for the most part over the 10 year development cycle of Warframe. Yeah, I know that they've had their shortcomings and probably continue to still do so, but for the most part, it feels like they respect their player base. And you look at the communication that they offer the players, you look at the amount of content that they are constantly pumping out. And it's just, it's all positive. It, it, it just seems like they're 100% uh, respecting the player base. So yeah, when I, when I first started playing, it was crazy. I was like, well, how is no one talking about this? How is this game um, not being talked about more often? Throughout all of these negative uh, live service news articles and headlines, it's Warframe is just there. It's just there. And it just seems like this anomaly that has yet to be fully discovered. I understand that it reached, I think, a, play, a peak play count on Steam um, in the last few months. Uh, I, I could be wrong about that. But I understand it's gaining a little bit of traction, uh, probably due to all of the negative uh, news surrounding live service games. But uh, yeah, I, I felt like it was just this crazy discovery. There isn't much more I wanted to say on it either, to be honest with you. It, it Again, it just felt like I had discovered a game that is in a genre that likes to exploit its users, that doesn't exploit its users entirely. Obviously, there are time-gated things. Um, there are things in Warframe that, you know, Digital Extremes needs to make money, right? It's a free game. You can play the entire game for free. You can access every piece of content for free. So they need to make money somehow. 
Um, and obviously there are things in Warframe that uh, Digital Extremes has to kind of take advantage of to, to make money. That's it's just an, an inevitability, right? But in comparison to what we have seen, the respect that Warframe has been given by its developers seems um, night and day in comparison to the rest of the, the uh, live service games we're seeing uh, on today's market. And again, not much more I wanted to say, just uh, wanted to give some props to a game um, that kind of bucked the trend of live service games we see today. Instead of being all negative and controversy and not really what players wanted, Warframe seems to be doing the exact opposite and actually respecting its player base. So yeah, and um, look, I didn't know how to end this. I didn't really have any plans, just knew I wanted to get in front of the camera and speak honestly and openly about a game that, again, I think is, is doing exactly what it should be um, in this current moment in time. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, go try Warframe. If you haven't tried Warframe yet, please go and try it. Um, again, it's free. You can access the entire game for free. All of the content is available to you without paying. So you should definitely do that if you haven't already. And yeah, appreciate it. See you later.